out, but I wanted to, I wanted to do a bit of a, of a of an update vlog. So it's been it's been a little while since I've been uploading, and I wanted to kind of basically I've had some kind of injury for the last one or two months. Um, I hesitate to say it was a full blown injury because I've still been running like 40, 50 miles a week, but um, I've had like a like. I found out I had like a severe muscle imbalance. Um, so after kind of many weeks and a few months of just basically I go running, right? And I'm used to running like, I don't know, 7.15 for an easy pace or something. I go running and I would have this weird thing that would happen after a few, a few miles, a few minutes where like my stride would just be, it would just deteriorate. And I, I couldn't put my foot properly and my, I felt off. And then like, like my, I'd finish in like my, right calf would be super sore, uh, just my right calf, and then like my right arch would collapse. Or sorry, my left calf would be like ultra sore, and then like my right arch would be collapsed. And things just were not working out well, and my, my easy pace went from being like 7.15 to like 8.15, and it was like a labored 8.15 minutes per mile. So I knew that something wasn't right, but honestly, because I'm, I'm super stubborn, I just, I just kept running through all of it. And um, so basically this this started just before I went uh, to China. So if you saw last video, I was in China, I was in Beijing, which was like in November. Um, all this kind of started just before I went on a work trip. And so I didn't really have a chance to fully tackle it, um, which I probably should have. But I, just, I basically just went up getting really frustrated. And um, yeah, so I haven't really, so I wasn't really feeling very good the last few months. Uh, and that's why I haven't really been uploading and making running videos because I haven't felt like much of a runner. After a few weeks of trying to figure it out myself, I realized I couldn't do it. I thought it might've been like my glute medius and my glute maximus and this and that and the other. Went to a chiropractor. Um, they tell me my, indeed, my like left side was different than my right. And so it got like an adjustment, it helped a little bit, but I still was just kind of, wasn't really fully on the right trail. And, and then, so then I went to a physical therapist finally, which I should have done two months ago. And he told me within like 10 minutes, he was like, hey, your, your left psoas is super weak and your right hamstring is super weak. So if anybody knows, doesn't know what the psoas is, basically it's a muscle. It starts, it originates back here on your spine, goes through your hip, it connects to the front here. So it literally, it's responsible for picking up your leg. This is all psoas action right here. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Some people call it your hip flexor, um, but your hip flexors, there's a few muscles in there. It's the, it's the primary mover of your knee above 90 degrees. So, um, lo and behold, I did some specific psoas work and then I noticed that I was actually running normally. And who would have figured that the main muscle that lifts up your leg needs to have a bit of attention to it. I think, I think what happened was a few years ago, I had like a weird knee injury on my right side. And of course I'm so, I was stubborn, so I kept running through it. And uh, when that happened, um, I think over time, I favored one side. And then it was like two, two, three years ago. And then I guess I've always had a weaker left psoas because I've had this really weird issue. Remember, I don't know if you guys ever saw like my first marathon video where I was like, I finished and I was like, I don't know, my stride didn't feel weird. It didn't feel right. I felt really weird. Like I couldn't run properly. 20 seconds per mile slower than I expected. My legs felt weird. When I say my legs started hurting, my right hip flexor, this muscle, it pulls your leg up, your knee up, started cramping so bad, I had to stop three times to like move my leg in a way to where it wouldn't do that anymore. If you're running, and, and that all happened in, before the middle of the race. It's been going on for a little while. I guess I just never fully realized it. Because your psoas is something that you use all the time, but you never really think of specifically strengthening it there's always exercises that target it in a group within a group of muscles but you never like specifically targeting the psoas you have to do really specific exercises i got I went to the pt about a month ago and i've been doing training on it and everything's been feeling a lot better and um i've been feeling more like a runner again and i've been able to make actual uh act do actual workouts like some good workouts i had a 25 kilometer 15 mile run the other night it was was decent was decent and i had another longer 17 mile run last week and that was decent as well. And uh, things are getting things are getting better. My paces still aren't what they used to be or what, you know, for, for marathon paces, like goal, goal race paces, like six minute mile or so, and they're a bit slower than that, but that's totally okay. It's like the beginning of uh, this block, or this next block of training. 
So I'm targeting a, well, so the big thing is, um, obviously I'm gonna, I'll race something, I'll do a marathon in the fall or in the spring. But the big thing was just a few different tweaks to my training. So one is the biggest one, I actually made a huge, I made a commitment this week to do 95% of my training on soft surfaces only. And so that's why I'm here is this beautiful piece of grass. It's like the only one I can find in Paris, to be honest, that isn't like, it's somewhat central. So I came here, I did uh, about 20 minutes steady, like 7, 7, 15 pace, totally barefoot. And then I did uh, about 20 minutes of plyometrics. Again, totally barefoot. And that's the second thing is, so you have your foot, right? And the whole arch thing. So basically like when you run your arch right here, um, you pronate and it absorbs kind of like the, the force a little bit. So like the natural rotation of a foot, like you land, it pronates in just a little bit, not too much. Um, that absorbs the force. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but I have gigantic feet. And so I um, I have like size 14 feet. And one thing is that uh, my feet pronate because they're just they're just longer. And so I need to do I need to do a specific arch training for my body because um, I just have bigger feet. So let's say I have a really good strong arch. My foot plants down, boop. My knee is over my foot. My hip is straight over my knee. Everything's good. If I have a weak arch, you plant your foot. So it's getting a little feisty over there. Okay, so let's say you have let's say you have a weak arch. You plant your foot. It rotates in too much. Look at my knee. Look at my hip. You can check out a video I made here about. Uh, the Trendelenburg gait are basically weak, weak hip, hip, weak hip muscles. It all kind of will originate first with your arch down in your foot. Uh, and then if anything's weak along the chain, so if any of your knee stabilizers are weak or your hip stabilizers are weak or your core is weak, then it just kind of like sends us kind of, creates like a myriad of problems, which I think is kind of what's happening. And if I'm completely honest with you guys, I haven't been doing any, for the last few months, I haven't been doing any strength training um, cross training at all. Minimal, minimal, minimal stuff. Like once a week, maybe doing something, uh, but I haven't been doing anything to really supplement all the distance. And I think it just kind of all happened at once, you know, like I had this weak arch and I had this weak psoas, I had super weak glute maximus and glute med, and um, my core strength was eh, so-so. And then to top it off, I've been running 90% of my mileage on asphalt concrete and like cobblestones you know and I, all of it together just caused problems and i manifested in the way i told you and so i made a decision well i want to i want to i need to be more serious about this so living in paris is so sorry if this is kind of just a long rambling but i just want to tell you guys what's going on with my running and stuff just so you know where, where i've been and what i'm doing and running in paris is is beautiful but it's difficult for for competitive distance runners just because of the lack of uh soft services so i can count on like one hand the places i know in the city to go to go, to go run so i have to make a, a concerted effort to go do that my favorite thing to do is to leave my house after work throw my shoes on and out the door and just go somewhere right but um, i don't think i can afford to do that anymore um, i think it's taking a toll on my body and my legs and my muscle elasticity and um my stride pattern and just kind of the balance of everything because all the roads are sloped and guess what cobblestones aren't, aren't level and stuff so there's this park here this is like 30 minutes from my house to get to okay there's the jardin de tuileries it's like a it's be another it's 3k from my house there's the jardin de plomb which is okay to run in and then there's two gigantic parks which do have lots of soft services but they're on the outskirts of paris and i don't know if you guys heard but in paris and now there's strikes so everything's closed. All the metros are closed, except for like the two, there's like one or two that are open. So I, yeah, so I made a decision, you know, if I have to spend an extra hour either going either way to go to a park, like I'll get on one of the bikes, a city bike, 
and I'll pop on and I'll do that. I'm willing to kind of sacrifice the time to make sure that my legs and my 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 form and kind of just my overall running in general is is best supported. So yeah, so that's what I'm doing here. It's Sunday. Um, hope everyone had a beautiful holidays and New Year's and um, mine was lovely and fantastic. I have some amazing people in my life. And uh, yeah, so I'm just out here. Like I said, I did a I did a steady run barefoot. A bunch of bunch of plyometrics barefoot. So I had to train obviously the stabilizers in the foot, but then also like the things that plyometrics train, like the explosiveness and elasticity for efficiency. So like a really efficient stride. And then right now I'm going to go to a dirt park and do some work for basically mechanics, like like fartlek, like one minute on, one minute off, twenty times or something. And that'll be it. I'll post more later and hope everybody's doing well. And uh, yeah, I hope everyone's doing well. And I hope you guys have a good weekend and a good January and a good rest of your winter. And uh, I would love to go on a vacation somewhere warm soon. So I don't have to run in like full gear. But yeah, so that's me. And um, thank you guys so much for watching. And, and I'll see you guys. And I'll see you guys next time, okay? <sighs> All right, see ya. Cheers, bye.